Here's the uh, finished Mandalorian helmet. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made it. So basically, uh, my next mission is to make armor and stuff out of Sintra, which is a harder kind of plastic foam. And then I'm gonna make a Mandalorian helmet out of a hard hat and five gallon buckets. And lucky for me, I'm a construction worker, so I can get an old hard hat that I had and cut it. And then I can get five gallon buckets from painters for free. They're gonna have paint in them, so I'm gonna have to clean them out, but they're free. So anyway. So I had this cool Joker one that I had a few years ago and I already cut it off. So I already have the top of my Mandalorian helmet, which is pretty freaking cool. I thought that was gonna be a lot harder, so. With the five gallon bucket cuts as easy as this, I think this little project is gonna be quite easy. So yeah, now I just have to figure out what template I wanna use on this. So there's a few, but I might just make my own. I don't know. I like the one that I had from the phone. So if I can just transition that to the five gallon bucket, that would be the best case scenario, I think. But yeah, step one done. All right, step two of the bucket um, helmet. I made a little template that's the kind of visor i want to do i don't know if this is right or not if it doesn't work i'm gonna to have to use a template that is on the Merck's website but i just want to try on my own so got that done and then i have it marked out on this five gallon bucket and this is going to be the inner face shell and then the outer face shell will actually be the mask and everything so we'll see all right so i got it screwed on to the hard hat so it's kind of slowly starting to make the shape of a mandalorian helmet but I'm obviously I'm gonna like drill out those holes so that the screws kind of lay flush and then kind of file it down and make it a little more straight. But uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty decent shape to start with. And then once I do the face part, then I can carve out the cheeks and actually start making it look more like a Mandalorian helmet than just uh, than just this basic shape. But I'm feeling good about it so far. Five gallon bucket, not too bad. All right, so I used E6000 to uh, kind of glue it all together and keep it a little bit tighter and I clamped it. Then I used my old Mandalorian helmet to uh, kind of plan out the visor and everything. So we'll see how this looks when I cut it out. All right, so I got the outer layer um, glued onto the front layer and I, layer, <laughs> and I cut out the face visor and the cheeks. So now I'm gonna try and do the cheeks and then I'll have to install the visor and stuff, but everything's doing pretty nice and gluing well. I just have to, Fill in all these gaps eventually because the hard hat wasn't super flat going down so yeah but it's uh turned out pretty awesome so far i'm excited all right i got the cheeks hot glued into place now i'm gonna melt the back with a soldering iron and some extra plastic i have and hope that it seals together nicely because this hot glue is not gonna hold it together but it's a nice little shape going and then after that it's the visor and painting and i'm almost done all right, this is after sanding it and doing the first couple layers of primer. I just did white so that the yellow kind of sticks better. And boom, here's the yellow. I hand painted it. Um, you can still see there's some messy parts with the paint, but it's going to be fine because I'm going to put gray. And boom, here's the gray. Um, you can still see the cheeks are kind of messy, but once I outline it and do stuff like that, um, it'll kind of look cooler. It'll look more cartoony, so... I decided to add a little lighter yellow there too, and boom, here's with the line work and making it look like a cartoon. And I think it looks uh, pretty freaking awesome. It's starting to look very, very, very Borderlands and cartoon-esque, so yeah. All right, so this is basically the finished product of my uh, five gallon bucket Mandalorian helmet. And I think it turned out pretty good. Um, the only thing I'm missing is the earpieces, and I'm gonna do them separately with magnets. And then I obviously, I need to add some more stuff on the inside because I want to make the cushions a little better right now. I just have the EVA foam kind of holding it together. And I'm probably going to paint it and then add fans and a lot of that cool stuff in there. So, but that's a whole other uh, process and video stuff. So uh, yeah, Mandalorian helmet, five gallon bucket. Turned out pretty awesome. So as you guys can see, I uh, finished the earpieces. I made them magnetic just in case I ever want to switch them out or add things so but yeah it turned out pretty good i still need to put cushions inside so it doesn't wobble and fits better but i don't know i freaking love it this thing's awesome